Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've not been here before. My name's Amy. Today is a Saturday for me and I am alone. <laughs> well, my boyfriend's at work, he does often like work from home. So it's not often that I've got the house myself on a weekend. Um, and like, I could work, I suppose, because I'm self-employed, but I... I don't really want to, I don't really feel like working on a weekend and yeah so it's just me and Alvin and I think I am going to, so there is loads of things that I need to sort of get done when it comes to life, the house, all this kind of thing. So I, so we are getting the house rewired, so we moved in in November last year, like it will be almost a year ago. But when we moved in, we basically spent all our house, well, all our money on the house. Um, so we didn't have the money to do it up and it is a proper do it upper, like, um, yeah, basically we had to go, it needs new everything. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, what does it not need? Mm, new walls and that's it. <laughs> like, oh no, it needs new walls, it needs plastering. It needs new everything, <laughs> okay. So we've had the bathroom done, we've had um, new windows, so far and new soffits and fascias and a bit of fixing on the roof and next we're getting the wiring redone and basically i didn't know this like i just thought we needed new plug points but i've been told like the wiring is mega mega old and needs to be redone and apparently rewiring is a really really messy job so um they're gonna it's gonna be dust everywhere and we've got to actually move out for like two weeks like maybe more like i don't know how we're gonna do it because my boyfriend like wherever staying is with my parents they don't live near here and my boyfriend does have to go to the office every now and then oh so i don't know how that's gonna work um so we basically almost got to move out but once the wiring's done they're gonna make a mess of the walls and we're gonna get it re-plastered and currently you can see behind me um, I've taken off lots of like wallpaper and stuff on the walls but the ceilings aren't done and the living room aren't done so I need to strip wallpaper I feel like I just need to get started on it we're not getting it done for like three weeks but I don't want to be rushing and I also want to go to my allotment so when we moved into this place um, well, when we got the house I noticed they had allotments over the road and I was like well I'm applying for one of them and they're basically if you don't know they're like a plot of land that you pay like a year's rent on you can grow whatever you want there and I, like we do have a garden but there you can like grow fruit and veg if you want to I grow I like growing cut flowers um and it's just way more space to grow things than you do in a garden because in a garden you want stuff that's going to come back like every year and like look good all the time but in an allotment you can sort of be more experimental and um like yeah just it's like it's a big space so i pay 20 pounds for a whole year that is wild um that's really cheap sorry my camera cut out on me there um i was talking about my allotment i will just take you there later and i can show you um by the way i got it like a month two months ago so it's not it's not very nice yet i planted a few things but anyway i'll show you i wanted to say that i bought this um so i haven't really like been spending on more high-end pieces recently because the house does cost like so much money to get done and i need to be saving to get that all done like i'm hoping like to be honest if we get this plastering wiring done it will all be done kind of apart from the kitchen but not going to think about that for ages so anyway so i've been saving for the house but i saw something in the sale on net a -Porte. i never say it right um yeah i saw something in the sale on net a -Porte, and i was like oh i want it want that that's a bit of me it's like a very classic piece so it is a blazer from Isabel Marant. I mean, it says Marant Etoile. Is that like a spin off brand? No, I don't know. Isabel Marant. Anyway, 
um, and I am so disappointed. It is shit. Um, this is this was five hundred and twenty-five pound down to I think I paid two hundred and thirty pounds. Let me put it on. I got a thirty-six. I definitely think I would have preferred a thirty-eight. They only had a thirty-six left. Oh my god, it is just so basic. It's shit. I, I I am like so disappointed. I was really excited to have um, just like a high-end blazer. I love my Fuchsia Shaw one so much that I thought, oh, why not invest? You'll have it forever, you know. But like the fabric isn't even backed. Like it it, it doesn't have um like on lots of blazers you put like a interfacing on the back so it keeps its structure better which it doesn't have i don't know if this is a design style but to me it just like makes it feel really cheap like it's just not high end i i, I don't know well maybe i'm confu confused about what high end is but to me it's just let me show you my future shore one to compare okay i can't find my future shore gray one but this is the black one and i don't know if you can tell like it's backed it's heavier it just sits nicer. Like, it just looks like a good, really good quality blazer. And I got this one, right? So this one was just from a charity shop. I think I paid, like, what? I'm not even joking. I think I paid one pound. I know it's huge, but I kind of like the oversized. Look how, like, gloriously flat, like, this lays. It's got... A big shoulder pad in there. I love how the lapels sit really flat. And yeah, I'm sorry, like this looks like a thousand times better quality blazer. I got this for one pound and this sells for five hundred and twenty-five pounds. Sorry, this has been really annoying me and I've had no one to talk to about it. So so disappointed by that. I paid fifteen pounds for delivery because I'm a stupid impatient person that was really excited and wanted next day delivery and I turned out I didn't even select next day delivery I'd had somehow selected it for like in five days time <sighs> sorry <laughs> anyway all to say I don't like the blazer but in other good news I have been talking to a new manufacturer for Fuchsia Shore about making that exact grey blade that black one but in grey don't know if you've seen it. Anyway, we made a grey blazer before. Um, I think mine must be at the studio and been talking to a manufacturer about remaking that and also the grey trousers. They just sent me pictures of the fabric that they sourced today and it looks really, really good. It looks like spot on. I sent, they it arrived there today and they were like, yeah, this fabric. So fingers crossed. Alvin, good boy. Hello. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. What's Alvin doing? I was just thinking that I need to, I was just thinking that I need to look for really cute like dog walking gear. Like I really want to get for winter, maybe some, I thought about it last year, but maybe I should get them now because I'll get them sort of second hand in the sale. But like the Bottega puddle boots or like the Prada versions, they've got like a little rubber boot and they're really cute. I don't know. I just, you know, when you do something so often, like, as boring as walking the dog but I just feel like I want to be able to wear clothes I like to do things like that and do the allotment and whatever but yeah I'm just walking listening to true crime obsessed podcast it's all right if you have any podcast recommendations let me know I yeah I try and do 10,000 steps every day <laughs> hello and welcome to my tiny kitchen since it's still raining, I would take you to the allotment, but I'm gonna make some jam. jam. So I picked these black currants from my allotment. There were already black currant bushes there when I took it over, and I've already made one batch of black currant jam, and it is so good. I've never made jam before, and I was really pleased with myself. So I'm gonna make some uh, from the last leftover black currants and give it to my mum. It's really easy though. All you have to do. It's actually two ingredients, which is blackcurrants and jam. So yeah, you've got to sterilize the jar by, I'm either gonna boil it in some water or put it in the oven. I put it in the oven last time. 
and yeah, just make some jam. It's really easy. It's fun as well and delicious. I'm gonna end today's vlog by doing a little like show and tell of some nice things I've bought recently. First starting up with, I've got clothes, like a H&M order and a look fantastic order that, oh my God, they left out in the rain. Um, luckily everything has survived. But these, I basically re-bought some things that I love and I thought I'd show you. And I think there's one thing new in here. The one thing new is the, I got the Medicaid, is that how you say it? Medicaid. Medicaid Crystal Retinol, rather than the Retinol. Um, I got Strength 6. I have used Retinol before, like Retinol, Retinol, whatever. Um, so I thought I'd try this one because it comes really recommended from loads of like skincare TikTok girlies, you know, the ones that rip apart certain skin skincare brands but they say this one's good and I kind of trust them. So yeah, I'm trying that out. I used it once already this week and um, I was all right. Like I know they can be really strong, like if you're just starting to use them. I got a new stripped down lip liner from MAC obviously. And um, this is my favorite liner. I hate that they're like fucking, what are they like 18 pounds, 16 pounds? Oh no, I got a 20% off code. If you are ever buying anything off Look, look Fantastic, um, always go onto TikTok and type in Look Fantastic discount code because somebody's always got one. And so I don't know how much this would be. It still annoys me because I feel like it's a bit expensive. I just want to buy five and like, as soon as I get them cheap, I need to just buy a load because I just want them everywhere. You know, when you're searching for that one liner, um, but strip down is my favorite color. To go with that, I got the N NYX um, Liquid Lip in London, which is exactly what I'm wearing here. Uh -uh. I love this color. I've worn this for years as well. I'm such a boring person, always wearing the same, but it's the Soft Matte Lip Cream. Lasts for ages, it doesn't feel weird on your lips. Like, I love this color. This and Cape Town are my favorite, but London is my definite favorite brown, easy, just everyday wear kind of lipstick. I bought a new, I've already used it, hence my actual tan that I've got going on today. Um, this is my favorite tan now. So, I worked with Tan Lux for Instagram a few weeks ago, and damn them it's really good <laughs> so I've had to go and buy more and it's like not cheap this is not a cheap tan but it's so good um again I got 20% off so this one it doesn't smell it doesn't transfer like my like there's nothing on my bed sheets ever with this and I just really like the color I don't know I just feel like it's a it's it is hydrating because I always don't get along with like clear ones without the guide because I end up making it streaky. This one is never streaky. I've actually filmed how I tan. Oh my God, it, does it look terrible? I'm like, oh, my hands are always like the worst bit. But I feel like I think I managed to do a good job this time. I actually filmed how I do my fake tan for TikTok. I need to edit that. But yeah, that tan is just excellent i don't like getting my nails done but i don't like i just want a clean nail look so i bought um just like a new like emery board and these is that what they're called emery boards i just said that without actually thinking about it nail file oh, where did i get that i don't know these um little cuticle pushers and i already got it out where is it so I get this My my Gel, it's called. Oh yeah, this is it. My Gel 5-in-1 Builder Gel. Can you see my nails? I have the worst like nail beds, by the way. Um, I have really ugly hands, just before you think that I think I don't have ugly hands, I do. Um, and this is like a, basically a kind of biab and it just like makes them chunkier. <laughs> And like stronger 
and it comes with a bit of colour. So I got... Don't know what I got. I'll, ha I'll have to link it because I got a certain colour but it's really nice. And I literally just paint it on and you have clean, shiny looking nails. Lovely. And I kind of enjoy it doing it. You have to use like a UV light thing and... I just got one off Amazon for like a couple of quid. But I do that so my nails just look like clean and nice. But I don't want um, to waste time in the nail place. And I don't want um, long nails a lot of the time. Like I have been through long nail girl stages. But I like being able to put my finger into... <laughs> that sounds terrible. Into like a lip balm and... I don't know. You know like I got, when I do gardening and stuff they get annoying. Anyway, sorry. Shampoo. So I did my hair the other week and it just was freaking terrible. Like when I styled it and stuff, it just looked awful. I mean, it's not looking fucking great today, but it's, um, my excuse is it's raining outside and my hair can see it and it's already frizzing up. But I noticed how bad my hair styled when I used a ch cheap shampoo. And this was the last good shampoo that I've had. Pureology um, for damaged hair, like hydrating one, I think. And I noticed this shampoo left my hair really nice, and it does leave my hair really nice. It's so annoying because it's expensive. I really want to try the Kerastase one next. I just knew this one was good, and I was like really annoyed at how bad my hair was. So, yeah, is that all I bought? Oh, no. And I got a new L'Oreal telescopic. Um, mascara it's such an oldie but it's the best the best mascara I am in the market for a new foundation and I'm thinking about trying the Shishido Shishido one because I saw Grace Beverly recommend it and she always looks good so I might try that one um, anyway on to clothes it's the 5th of August but I've already bought a jumper. Now, that's because the weather has been so bad, okay, guys? I... And also, this feels like a jumper you can sort of tie around your waist and throw it on, like, when it actually gets cool on an evening. It's from H&M, and it is stripy. I love it. It's super soft and just really nice. I really like this stripy jumper for a super neutral, minimal aesthetic. Um, coming into autumn really like this one and yeah it's got like the zip up neck and just quite a cool, sh simple chic oversized shape um yeah i hope that i have to put it away for a couple of months to be honest because we need some sun i'm looking at the rain pissing down behind the camera oh this was another one of the h and i literally as soon as i saw this one I ripped it out of the box and put it on straight away this vest it is a stripy knit vest because it's knitted it's like really soft and a little bit warm and I love the little like lines around it just really cute simple details it's a lovely knit and um yeah it's one of those as soon as I got it out I put it on I got a small it definitely comes up big so maybe size down I also bought a pair of white jeans from H&M. I got these in the black and I love them. They're the baggy low, low waist style and so I thought I'd try them in the white. They look great with a pair of Birkenstocks and I just really love the shape of them. However, yeah, the rain is preventing me from really wanting to wear them currently but I love this style and they're just a very simple, very straight down baggy jean that isn't too baggy I also like the way they sort of fall at the bottom they're just like the perfect length for me I'm five six by the way so that they like sort of puddle a little bit over the shoe but don't like trail along the floor too much I got these H&M boots I love these but they're not long for me I my calves I've got quite a wide calf and I feel like they just look better when they're sort of baggy on your calf um but otherwise i think they're perfect like the perfect heel they'll be so cute like summer or autumn i love this buckle detail these for festivals would be amazing i think they're just i love them i think they are perfect perfect design but my i think my calves are holding me back here they look like wellies on me stripes are a theme here because i also bought this stripe t-shirt 
um, it's just very soft, really simple, little boxy t-shirt, lovely shape and really soft, oh it's just nice, just nice, I'm loving the black and white stripes, nice simple chic, looks great with like gold jewellery which I love, looks good with a tan in the summer and yeah I love this t-shirt just a lovely simple shape made out of lovely simple fabric and then this blue shirt I wasn't sure about this but I actually really like this shirt as well again with the stripes so many stripes sort of a mixture of like tiny pinstripe and wider pinstripe and it's a lovely blue it's quite oversized I bought a size medium and I definitely think I could have gone for a small um, but it is a lovely shape nice masculine sort of shirt and yeah i'm really looking forward to styling this up and like taking pics oh my god i just want to go outside can you tell <laughs> it's been raining like every day i like uh, is it just me or is it like really getting you down let me know if you feel the same because i'm just feeling sad like we had such a long cold winter and i feel like we really need i mean the vitamin d deficiencies are just going to be real take your vitamin d sub supplements guys because vitamin d deficiency is real and we've all got we're all gonna have it <laughs> god and there's so many good clothes i also got this top from uh monkey and i don't like it at all the knit is lovely yeah the knit is lovely but the shape of it is giving like child it's just not it's, an, it's not right on me I don't know why like it's it's not what I thought it was going to be am I styling it wrong also it's like quite an open weave and like a bra would be really obvious underneath it I suppose you just go with that look but like I don't feel like it was meant to have a bra underneath it and it's like quite an open weave like nipples will actually be out and finally from H&M I got this lace top I'm I'm not quite sure what I was thinking um i don't hate it i think i think that i think i have places to go and i don't i don't actually have places to go out and wear things like this like i think i sometimes think i'm someone else <laughs> no i would love an event if anyone can invite me to an event that'd be great oh i do have a wedding to go to but and i've got to wear black but I don't think this is it. No, no, I don't think so. But I do love lace. I do love a bit of lace, a bit of sheer lace for going out in outfits. That is very much up my stream. That's it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, next time, I want to show you my bathroom. I didn't do that, and I feel like I should do that. But yeah, thank you so much. Um, I'll see you in the next one.